Hi guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can take your daytime photos and turn them into amazing nighttime photos really easy just using simple effects in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo. And today I have chosen this photo, which I got off of unsplash.com. So what we want to do is to take this daytime photo here and to turn it into a nighttime photo. And I must say, it seems going to be quite difficult, but it's actually a lot easier than you might think. So what we want to do firstly, is we want to go ahead and create a color grading theme. So at the moment, it's more of like a sunset look. So we've got a lot of oranges, we've got a lot of yellows, and we want to replace that with more of a blue look because blue usually is found around blue hour or twilight where it is very dark. So we want to replicate that within the tones of the photo. So what we're gonna do first is gonna go down to our adjustment layers icon in the bottom right hand corner. We're gonna go ahead and click. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna firstly go up to photo filter. Now in photo filter, what we want to do is add in a nice blue look. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to our warming filter here, clicking on that section here. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down to cooling filter like so. And what that will do is that will just change most of the tones or overall the tones and add this bluer hue to it. But as you can see, it hasn't fully affected the shadow areas. So what we're gonna to need to do is to actually create a gradient map adjustment layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead again to the bottom right hand corner guys, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and choose gradient map. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it like so. Now in the gradient map adjustment layer, we want to choose a color for the shadows and a color for the highlights. So in the shadow areas, we can go ahead and click, change the colors by going to our gradient editor tool. And what we want to do is for our left-hand side by double clicking, what it'll do is it will bring up our gradient picker or our color picker tool. What we can do is select a dark blue color. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose blue. I'm gonna go ahead and choose something like so. So I'm gonna choose this particular color here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Then what we want to do is to create a opposite color to the color wheel for the highlights. And this will add firstly a little bit of contrast, but it won't make it look too blue because we don't want to make it look completely bright blue. We want to make it more natural. So adding in a complementary color, especially in the highlights might help this situation out. So what I can do is just simply double click on that icon. And what you can do is I'm actually going to pick a very, very slight yellow here. So I'm going to go ahead for a slight pale yellow that you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And once you're happy with the gradient that you have just made, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK like so. Lovely. So what I need to do, as you can see, this photo is basically ruined. So what we can need to do now is change the blending mode. And I recommend changing the blending mode either from overlay or soft light. So I'm gonna to go to the blending mode option here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down to overlay, which I like, but it's a bit too strong, or soft light, which is a lot better. So what I can do at this very point in time, and we've only just made two adjustment layers, Already it's starting to look a little bit cooler and a little bit more twilighty, but obviously the sky gives it away. So what we can do is do the before and do the after. And already we've had this cooler theme to it, which kind of replicates blue hour instead of golden hour that it was previously. But now let's go for the big change. Now, traditionally this would have taken ages. What we're gonna do is we're going to replace the sky. But if you are in Photoshop 2021, you can use the sky replacement tool, which makes it so much quicker to replace the sky to anything of your choice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that background layer is selected. And we're gonna go up to edit, and then we're gonna go down to sky replacement. Now you won't find this in any older versions of Photoshop, but you will find it in Photoshop 2021, or that is point 0.23. So as you can see, it is just placed the generic or previous photo that I have been editing, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna make it look like it's nighttime. And the best way to do that is by either adding in a very dark gradient, which you can do, or you can replace it with a photo already at nighttime, a sky with maybe lots of stars in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and choose the sky. Now, if you go to the big, big thumbnail here, if you click on that, it will bring you down with a bunch of presets. So these are a few things that you can download. Now, in nighttime, there are a few that you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flick through to the one that I think will work best. So let's have a look at that one. That's a bit too blue. I don't think that one's gonna work. Let's try this one. Oh, that one works a little bit better. 
Let's try the last one here. That works a lot better. Again, it's not as bright, uh, but uh, we can always change that in the settings. So once you're happy with the sky choice, we can then exit out of there. And what we can do now is start changing a few of the effects. Now, obviously the brightness, we wanna take that down. So we're gonna overall darken the photo. We also want to add a little bit more blue into it. So I'm gonna go for a minus 15% blue tint to the sky. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a little bit more of a color adjustment. So this is the adjustment that's affecting the predominantly bottom half of the photo or any area that isn't being cut out by that. And then I'm also gonna to go to the shift edge here. And I'm gonna increase it slightly just to cut in a little bit more. And then the fade edge, I'm gonna bring down slightly as well. So I'm gonna go for, let's go for something like this. I don't want to make it too harsh, but you can balance the shift edge and fade edge to get the best results possible. Again, straight out of Photoshop or the, the default settings aren't necessarily the best settings. You might have to tweak them to really work out exactly what you want. But overall, I'm going to say I am quite happy with the results so far. So all I need to do is now go ahead and click the OK button making sure that you've created it as a new layer, as a group. So as you can see, it is added the group just like here. So you can see, if I go ahead and close that group, so we, all we've done is done three individual adjustment layers. The sky replacement group, then you've got your color mixer, and then you've also got your gradient map. So if we go into that sky replacement group, as you can see, we've got an overall brightness change. Then we've got a foreground lighting, again, applied with a gradient map. We've also got the sky that has been added in, again, with the gradient map applied. You've also got a sky temperature, which is predominantly a channel mixer. Then you've also got the sky brightness, and obviously we've brightened it down quite considerable. So what I can do now is show you the before and after. So if we do the before, as you can see, that is basically a sunset shot, very warm colors, very, very uh, kind of saturated in the oranges and yellows. And then if we do the after, you can see we have completely transformed this photo and we've made it look like nighttime. And of course, you can always go ahead and add, for instance, a curves adjustment layer, which I'm just about to do. So I'm gonna go down to my adjustment layers icon. I'm gonna go ahead to the curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that to the top. I'm just gonna make this photo just darker because obviously at nighttime, it wouldn't be necessarily this bright unless you did a long exposure, which in this particular case, you can see it isn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and just simply drop this photo, drop the shadows to make this photo just look a lot darker. So you can see this is drastically different to the original image that we started with. So again, if I do before and I do after, what a change. And I must say, this looks incredibly realistic. So let me know in the comments down below if this particular type of effect worked for you. Brilliant, and there we go guys. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you guys don't miss anything. Now, if you want to watch my latest Photoshop video, I've got a playlist just up here. Or if you're in a bit of a rush, I've got my two minute tutorials just down here. But until next time, guys, keep creating.